Welcome back to Scrapbag Guys, Rush Chronic here, and we're back with another episode of The State of Snap, uh, a show where we talk about all things Marvel Snap, things that have come up in the past week, whether that be cards, decks, uh, events, all sorts of stuff. Uh, today, we've got a good one for you because obviously the game has been released October 18th. Uh, pre register now, App Store, Android Store, and apparently the Windows Store you can you can register. Uh, do that because you're going to get an alternate art card, which I think is cool. The Hulk is one of them. I don't know what the other one is. Can't remember. But I do want to point out that on uh, the day of the Disney showcase, I put this uh, GIF or this meme, which I made myself, I'm very proud of. I put this meme into Reddit and people told me I was mad. There's no way it's coming out. There's no way there's going to be a release date. Nothing's happening. It needs months to go. Anyway, they were all wrong. I was right. I wasn't right that it's coming out now, but you know, it was coming. It was coming sooner than we thought, which is great to hear. I think a lot of people thought this Tegas game would be months away from general release. Anyway, go register, do the thing. In relation to the release date, they had spoiled a load of cards. There was sort of teasers to what was to come, whether they're old or new. I want to go through a, a couple of cards right now that I have crawled the trailer website, pulled up really poor res images, and we're going to have a look and see at the cards that uh that were kind of sneak peeked versus the cards that we've seen have been leaked in the past first up is black panther now we got a leaked version of black panther which is the clear one there four uh, energy two strength the card ability says on reveal double this card's power now the other version that we saw in the trailer is a 5-4 now we don't see what it does but if it's the same thing that's a five strength eight power uh, it's it's really hard to tell. It's a low res image. That could actually be a buffed Black Panther. It could be a five two. Maybe the four two was wrong, and somebody managed to buff Black Panther up to five four in that specific game. It's really hard to tell. It's a low res image, but that would be such like if they've already had to nerf Black Panther pre release. That's really cool. I like that. That that I don't know. That just makes it sound like the four two is going to be bonkers. Maybe people were pulling off crazy combos. We also saw a buffed Hulk. I think we knew this was coming. Hulk was a little bit weak. Six eleven just never felt that impactful. A six twelve again. They don't want to overdo it. Six skin for the Hulk, by the way. But I, I'm really, really happy that they buffed the Hulk. He's one of my favorite Marvel characters. So when they buffed him, I mean, I, I, I want a bigger Hulk. 616, please. Next up is the Devil Dino. Uh, this appears a couple of times in the trailer. Obviously, right now, they, they nerfed it to a 4-0, but we still see it played a lot. It's still a powerful card. They've now put it to a 5-3. I believe, I don't know where I read it, I believe somewhere that it has the same text. So uh, if you've got two cards in hand, it gets plus two, that's plus four. So it becomes a five, seven, three cards will be a five, nine, four cards, a five, 11, et cetera, et cetera. Again, a sick art, another nerf to the, it's, it's, it's a nerf, but they've also buffed its baseline power. So is it a nerf? Is it a buff? I'm not quite sure. We'll have to see what the final version looks like. Luke Cage also appeared. Now, again, we can't see the cost in the card, but I imagine it's the same as the leaked version. Uh, it's always nice to see uh, the leaked version is, is the same as what they are going to release. Um, they did say that when the all the leaked cards dropped that, you know, th that they were wrong. Some of them were wrong and they had different flavor text and different text and different abilities. But this one seems to be the same. Luke Cage, uh, ongoing, your cards can't have their power reduced. Good counter if you're coming across hazmats and things like that or you know locations that um, uh, reduce card power uh, over time. So yeah, Luke Cage looks to have been the same. I think it's almost safe to say that Luke Cage could potentially uh, uh, be the same card that we saw leaked uh, a few months ago. Scarlet Witch, this one is very prominent. I think everyone spotted this. Scarlet Witch is now a one, two, and even in the trailer, her animation actually triggers, which is to change the cards or change the location uh, that she's played at. So they've basically made Scarlet Witch a one drop now, that does the same thing and uh, uh very very exciting to see uh, how people will tech that in um you know if there's a particular deck style you like and specific locations ruin that strategy having her as a little tech card might be cool maria hill now this is a really blurry image i pulled again i tried you know it's only 1080p the resolution on the uh, video so i i was basically kind of guessing as to what cards i was looking at but um the leaked version here maria hill is a 2-3 and her description says on reveal at a random one cost to your hand the version over there is the one in the trailer and it's clearly a one two so potentially this card wasn't seeing play or not strong enough but a one two that generates another one drop could play really strongly into cards that like to play uh, lots of one drops like whiteboards uh, things like that uh, could be uh, potentially very very strong for those cards 
Silver Surfer, a car people are really excited about. The really blurry version over there is the best I could do. The leaked version is a 4-0 that says on reveal double the power of all six cost cards, wherever they are. That says all six cost cards, so I am assuming that is opponent six cost cards as well. I mean, that's how I interpret this. Could be wrong here. The version that we see in the trailer is a 2 I want to say five or six. I, I, it's, it's really hard to, to determine what the number, the yellow number is, but it's definitely not a four zero, uh, as far as I can tell. It looks to me to be a two five or six. In the comments below, let me know if you if you can read that. Uh, but that's what I can see for now. So, super cool car, card. Excuse me. Buffing all six drops is amazing. That's that's just bonkers play. Next up is Mirage. Again, you can see that uh, she floated by very briefly in the trailer. I'm literally going frame by frame here. Uh, Mirage uh, was spoiled a 4-5 card ability. As you play this, disguise it as Mr. Fantastic. After the final turn, reveal it. So you're potentially spreading six power across three locations, uh, but then turns into Mirage at the end, and it's a 4-5. Uh, could really mess with your opponent's um, mental gymnastics they're trying to do at that time. Uh, but now every time you see a, a Mr. Fantastic, you're like, is it a Mirage? Is it a Mirage? What happens if it's a Mirage? Uh, so that you could potentially see some cool decks actually running Mr. Fantastic, trying to throw people off. Uh, but that uh, the, the, the spoil version in the video does definitely look like a 4-5, maybe a 4-6, it could be said. It's, it's hard to tell. Next up, uh, they spoiled Nebula. Uh, now the thing is, Nebula was already spoiled as a 1-1 with her ability on reveal if your opponent played a card here this turn, plus uh, times two power and put this in your hand. So Nebula could be bounced back into your hand essentially. So if you played her down and you guessed the right location, she'd become a 1-2, do it again, she becomes a 1-4 and so on and so forth. The danger is if you guess the right location at the very end, Nebula like, could be a 116 or something and, and she's bounced back into your hand so that becomes useless to you. Could run well in a collector deck. The version they showed on the video is a 3-3. So are we to believe that the same ability? I don't believe the same ability will be triggered with Nebula. All the Guardians have been, you know, guess the right location and get a buff. Nebula at a 3-3 could be an interesting one because you do it on turn 3, she becomes a 3-6. Do it on turn four correctly she becomes a 312 i mean i don't think she's going to get the same ability but that would be crazy maybe maybe it's just a plus two or plus three ability rather than a doubling of her power every time but who's to know let's see next thing to talk about on the state of snap is there's currently a big event going on september 15th to september 28th shield versus hydra uh you can find this in the in the game uh, when you're playing the game, you'll see one of the home screen's uh, settings is uh, the Shield vs. Hydra. You can click on it. You have to declare you're either, you know, Shield or Hydra contributors. You get points for winning cubes. It's it's a bit different as to the previous event where it was just gain cubes. It's now do certain things in the game, you know, make certain, you know, put, put Shield uh, cards in your deck, put Hydra uh, cards in your deck, and you gain points that you can contribute to certain locations. Right now, Hydra are wrecking Shield. Uh, I am Team Shield, by the way, but um, unfortunately for me, it's really laggy in my phone. It, the, the UI for the, the this is really bad for me. I'm curious to know if other people are having the uh, experience that it's it's virtually unusable for me right now. But it's a super cool approach. Uh, I think you get 100 credits if you participate in this event, which again is a cool way of giving back to the community. Gets a little bit of Horde versus Alliance stuff going. And if they can run more events like this, I am down for it. It's just a really cool way of engaging with the community and getting... Uh, a little bit more of a competitive meta game around the game as well, uh, which I really, really love. Next section is the dev questions. I always love these. I hope you guys enjoy them too. So Freeze asked, any intentions to change seasonal reset to be based on highest rank, not current? During seasons where I'm close to the cutoff uh, for dropping below my current rank, I just play the bare minimum for missions because I don't want to lose an extra 10 ranks or progress after reset. It encourages just camping at your current rank, and I can understand this. Steven says, no plans to change the highest achieved. It could result in someone gaining rank on reset and players intentionally tanking their rank with no downside. Hmm, I don't know about this, Steven. Uh, it's an interesting one. It did feel super bad. I think I finished last season on 66 and I got dropped, you know, the highest I got was 66 and I think uh, I was dropped to rank 30, which I thought was a little bit unfair, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, maybe they will change it in some way in the future, but for now it looks like uh, the way it is in game right now is the way it's going to continue to be. 
Do you plan to add a small amount of credits for each game played or each win so we don't end up with a bunch of upgradable cards without being able to upgrade, said Freeze. Ben Brode came back and said, that's already how it works. You get season pass XP every game and you can earn extra boxes at the end of the season pass that can have credits. Now, he kind of navigates around the question a little bit. It's, it's not exactly what happens in the game. It is, I suppose he's technically correct that you do get uh, extra boxes once you finish the season pass, but it's not the same as getting credits every game. Just not the same, Ben, unfortunately. Um, obviously we would all love credits, uh, you know, a small amount, five or something, or like Gwent does where you can kind of donate a little right resource to your opponent if you feel like it. Uh, that would be a cool uh, thing to add. Add that to the, to the product list, guys. White Noise said, I just purchased a variant by mistake that I was definitely not interested in spending my gold on. Any plans in the future to add a confirmation before making similar purchases? I know how this can happen. You can just click on it by accident and suddenly you purchased it. Steven said, it's a bug that thinks you double clicked. We are fixing it. Sorry for that experience. Now, I hope White Noise was able to go to support and, and get his, his gold back. Or maybe it was a, a, a variant he actually wanted in the end. Uh, or they wanted in the end. Um... I'm glad they're fixing the book. Glad they're aware of it and glad they're fixing of it. Good question, though. Iceman said, any plans to increase the number of save decks you can have? I think this is a big request for a lot of people. Uh, Steven said, yes, coming soon. I think that's a, a no-brainer. It took Hearthstone years to do it. Hopefully, Snap can do it quicker. <laughs> GB Lover said, we will have, will we have an overhaul to the emotes? Now, I think emotes, I, I don't use them. I don't know anybody who uses them. I've never really seen anybody use them. Uh, Steven said, yeah, we have some cool plans for emotes. First version will be in one of the next two patches. Okay, well, I think the next patch is coming on the 18th. Unfortunately, it's not coming uh, anytime soon. Uh, so we won't see it until release. But yeah, I, I'd like to see emotes are cool. I just never really use them. Maybe if they were a little bit easier to use or more friendly or there were a bit more variety i think that would be cool the last thing i want to talk about today is there is a draft mode for snap now it's not in the game but a fan called stone donkey highlighted to me by several other content creators and um, i'll leave a link for the website down below but you can essentially draft a deck it will give you three options you select one if you're not familiar with draft formats in card games it's essentially where you build a deck on the fly in magic for example or other games you would literally be holding a handful of cards you'd select one and pass the rest on to your uh, you know the next person in that draft tournament and you'd get a new hand of now nine cards and you're essentially drafting synchron uh, you're trying to draft um cards that synchronize with one another but you don't know what's coming which is just a super cool way to play the game I hope a draft mode comes. It's it's very much like the arena in Hearthstone, if you're familiar with that. Uh, and I believe, I think Gwent also has a similar mode. But if you could bring that to Snap, I think I'd love it. I think I'd, I love draft drafting cards. Um, but somebody has built this in, in a website that you could potentially do and build a deck that's just been drafted and uh, uh, see if you can run it. Uh, uh, super cool idea. I'll leave a link for it down below. One thing I did find on Twitter while I was perusing uh, Marvel Snap today, there is a uh, artist called Dan Hip who's been making um, art. You may be familiar with these cards, you may not. I have the Wave variant, so I am super keen to see what Dan does with the rest. You can see some cool Lockjaw, you've got Drax and you've got uh, Ronan there. Um, really cool artwork. Uh, definitely go check out Dan Hip on, on Twitter and his art. It's, it's really, really cool. And that's it. That's been the state of Snap for this week, this month. I don't know. I try to make these as regularly as I can. I hope you enjoyed these style videos. If you do, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more Marvel Snap content, check out the other stuff you see on screen right now. And I will catch you in the next one. All right.